Right, I suppose the next part of this um, Cummins build series should actually be me taking her out for a test drive. Um, well, I've taken her out for a test drive. Um, well, actually, it was a couple of weeks ago that we finished it, and I took her out for a test drive. And I was just driving it a little bit to get used to it before I'd done a proper video and instead of video me grinding gears and whatnot. So she had a couple of days of a test drive and I was about to start doing a video to show her driving and I've blown the box. Well I've cheered the input gear to the transfer box. So the next part of this video series is not going to be taking her out for a drive, it's actually going to be removing the gear bo uh, transfer box yet again and for a new gear which Reese is very kindly making up. Um, out of, we're having some hot one piece ones being made um, but in the meantime I've started mincing and fitted a snorkel and a <laughs> new light bar um, just purely because I haven't been in the mood to remove it and it's been raining and I'm not really I haven't been in the mood to be lying under a Land Rover in the piss and rain because the yard is on a hill and the Land Rover is at the bottom of it Right, well she's out, um, as expected, she's, uh, is she focusing? Yeah, she's sheared on the old, uh, come on, focus, that's better, she's sheared on the old input gear, Just where, that's right where she was welded by the looks of things, um, the other half is in there, so what I'll do in a minute is I'll, um, I'll peel that out, and have a good look at it. I also need to peel out the um, the speedo drive as well because, uh, funny enough, that sheared as well just before she just before uh, she let go. So be back to you soon. Right. Well, I've got her out. You see, that's where she's uh, sheared. I'm not really sure what this is all about. It looks to be. Packing the bearing out, I hope it's not. But, anyways, uh, there's the other half. Obviously, that was on there somewhere. I don't know how because she, she um, slipped when I was going up a hill. I thought the clutch had slipped, so um, just let off the power. She uh, gripped again. She must have found something there to grip on and uh, pulled me up the rest of the hill and at one time I changed gear again she uh, she stopped with gripping really and I had a box full of neutral so um, I'm gonna need to get some new a new seal here's the end seal ah, see she's damaged just in here so need a new one of those also, looking in here, I think I'm going to have to get a new, speak the Reese nicely and uh, get a new one of these because it's fucked all the threads on the end, Richie just ripped them clean off when she broke, but then it, it would because the pressure of as it breaks will put a force out that way. So someone else that needs to be done and then we'll get get this off we'll make sure it is running true i know it's now it's got to run true to a point of no more than 0 0.03 millimeters of being out so before i just bolt it all together and prayed really Ooh, oh shit the old cardboard underneath my feet's moving so that's that now, wait for the new gear, um, probably tar up some other little bits on it, and uh, oh, get me, get me throttle, dr um, what is it, rev gauge working, and uh, go from there. 